हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स थ्रू कैड लैबोरेटरी आई एम राकेश वलसा इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू ड्रा द प्रोजेक्शंस ऑफ प्लेन्स इन ऑटो कैड सॉफ्टवेयर आई हैव टेकन दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग बाय एनडी बट टेक्स्ट बुक लेट अस सी द गिवन प्रॉब्लम ड्रा प्रोजेक्शंस ऑफ अ रॉम्बस हैविंग डायगोनल्स 125 एमएम एंड 50 एमएम लॉन्ग the smaller diagonal of which is parallel to both the principal planes while the other is inclined at 30 degrees to the hp my dear friends first identify the given plane that is rhombus longer diagonal is 125 mm smaller diagonal is 50 mm he has given one condition that smaller diagonal of which is parallel to both the principal planes that means that is parallel to hp and vp while the other is means longer diagonal is inclined at 30 degrees to the hp so let us assume <coughs> longer diagonal is parallel to hp and smaller diagonal is perpendicular to vp first we need to assume this rhombus surface parallel to hp then it makes uh, 30 degrees to the hp initial position the rhombus is parallel to hp that means we can see the true shape only the top view in the front view it is appear like one line this surface makes 30 degrees to the hp that is the second position you you can get reduced rhombus shape finally in the third stage the smaller diagonal is parallel to both the principal planes now rotate the smaller diagonal that is parallel to xy then 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 draw the final front view first we know that draw the xy line first uh, next draw the initial position for the this case let us assume that surface should be parallel to hp that surface is on hp here longer diagonal is parallel to hp and smaller diagonal perpendicular to vp now draw the initial top view take line command draw the 125 mm longer diagonal now turn on ortho mode 125 enter from the midpoint draw the smaller diagonal that is 50 mm so take line command at the midpoint about 25 mm and below draw the below 25 mm now join this co corner points by using line command and give the notations this name is this is start point a small a this is b this is small c this is small d yes okay after this this is the initial top view then draw, uh, draw the vertical projectors from each and every top view to xy line we can get initial front view by using line command l enter from a point draw the vertical projector up to xy line from b and d point both are in same vertical projector finally draw from point c now give the notations this is the front view a dash the middle one is b dash of d dash b point is visible and d point is invisible so that's why i have represented with b dash of d dash when the observer seeing from this side b corner is visible d corner is invisible the last point is c c c dash a visible b visible c visible d is invisible now join those points by using line command a dash b dash and b dash c dash this surface this longer diagonal inclined at 30 degrees to the hp now copy this line ac line and also notations okay move from a dash to second position leave some leave some space 
now uh, by using rotate command r o enter select this line and also notations the rotation angle is how much that is 30 degrees with respect to a dash point 30 enter okay from each and every corner point each and every point draw the vertical projectors also draw the horizontal projectors from initial top view uh, by using uh, ray command r a y enter from a dash point draw the vertical projector next from b dash point from c dash point similarly draw the horizontal projectors from initial top view from d point from c point from b point now remove the unwanted lines by using trim command t r double enter now locate the intersection points a dash vertical projector and a horizontal projector this name is a1 one is subscript now copy this text and locate uh, remaining intersection points b dash vertical projector b horizontal projector that intersection point is b1 similarly c1 and d1 now edit the text this is b1 this one is c1 and the last one is d1 okay now join those points by using polyline p l enter a1 point b1 point c1 point d1 point a1 point now click escape button the last condition is smaller diagonal of which is parallel to both the principal planes now rotate the here smaller diagonal is b1 d1 this is parallel to hp now rotate this b1 d1 uh, that is should be parallel to xy so copy this ram reduce rhombus and also notations okay move from this a1 to some other place here smaller diagonal means uh, this b1 and d1 this should be parallel to both the planes both the principal planes means both horizontal plane and vertical plane now it is parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp now rotate uh, this smaller diagonal parallel to xy then it is parallel to both the reference planes r o enter select this Uh, this object and rotate with respect to uh, with respect to uh, b b one point. Now turn on ortho mode. Okay, okay. Now you can see here. Uh, just you can uh, apply the rotate command and also turn on ortho mode. Just you can. Uh, rotate in the vertical direction. Here, a b one d one is parallel to x y. Now extend this x y line up to the last position. Also move this y letter. You can also uh, move this final top view. that is uh, somewhat near to second stage you can also move this one okay this is the final top view from the from final top view draw the vertical projectors for getting final front view by using ray command r a y enter uh, from 
a1 point from b1 point from c1 point okay you can move this a1 and also uh, if possible you can also rotate the text r o enter Uh, rotate remaining text also next c1 uh, d1 just uh, if you on ortho mode it directly gives the rotation with respect to uh, it gives horizontal or vertical rotation now turn off ortho mode yes okay now draw the horizontal projectors from second front view r a y enter from c dash point next from b dash point already a dash is on x y no need to draw again now remove these axis lines t r double enter now locate the intersection points a dash horizontal line uh, a1 vertical projector this is a1 dash a1 dash one is subscript okay now copy this text to remaining three points three corner points uh, this is b1 dash top one is c1 dash this is d1 dash now edit the text this is b1 dash c1 dash this is d1 dash okay now join those uh, corner points by using polyline pl enter a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash a1 dash this is the final front view for the given problem uh, here uh, you once you can see here now select this entire sketch and apply the layer that is uh, apply the line weight 0.09 for only this final front view and final top view you can give the line weight is 0.30 mm uh, here one more point uh, now let us take this xy total length is xy total length is 354 that is exceeds uh, a4 sheet length that is 297 so that's why uh, you can apply the scale sc enter sc enter select this sketch uh, you can take 1 is to 2 ratio or uh, otherwise you can take uh, uh, 1 is to 1.5 here i am taking 1 is to 1.5 click enter uh, with respect to this start point base point uh, i am taking scale is uh, 1.5 click enter okay now you can see here 1.5 means it uh, increase the scale one one second scale sc enter select this entire sketch now click enter space for base point you can take a uh, scale 1 is to 2 so you can enter 0.5 if you take less than 1 it gives reduced scale if you take more than one it gives increased scale i'm taking 0.5 click enter okay now the object is reduced i have taken i have reduced 50 percentage so scale is 1 is to 2 you can write here you can also write here uh, scale is s c a l e scale is 1 is to 2 in the title block you need to mention 
scale 1 is to 2 that 1 is actual scale 2 means reduced scale 50 percent is reduced you can m enter you can move this solution here to near to uh, question okay this is the final solution for the given problem uh, you need to add uh, dimensions d a n for this inclination this is 30 degrees you know that this is the given angle uh, you can also give the uh, longer diagonal dimensions smaller diagonal dimension by using d l i linear dimension a c longer dimension longer diagonal dimension is 125 mm but it's showing 63 that means uh, 62.5 uh, here you need to mention exact dimension so double click on this 63 enter 125 125 okay no need to give 63 mm this is the actual you must and should give actual dimension 125 next dli enter give the dimension to bd this is 25 actual dimension is 50 double click on the text enter 50 okay okay this is the final solution for the given problem you need to add title block and save this drawing file into pdf already you know this procedure i'm not telling this procedure in this video if you want uh, if you want any doubt you need to watch uh, previous videos thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates and also share to your near and dear friends